Hello everybody, Zion, Paul Lawrence Curtis here again. Uh, I just felt like I needed to do a quick follow-up on the piece I just did not that long ago on Surrender. But I put a fancy shirt on for this one and now I'm matching Whiskers. This is Whiskers. Whiskers is 62 years old. So, or 61. Whiskers was my twin brother's. And he got him when he was six. For our birthday, we got to choose our own toys. And Tony chose whiskers and I chose a crossbow. Uh, I'm sure that says a lot. But anyway, since Tony died, I got whiskers and he's here with me. And I'm just going to sit him down there now so he can watch the proceedings. Cheers. My take me out mug when I did the take me out dating show for over 50s. And went to Tenerife on a date, which was a lot of fun. And I hear that the show is now cancelled. So cheers to take me out and Paddy McGuinness. No likey, no lighty. Right, well, what was I talking about? Um, hmm. Yes, a follow-up on limitation, accepting the limitation, finding wisdom and surrender. And I realised I didn't really talk much about what happens when you surrender because I think the mind and people's minds will then go oh god I've just got to sit around and do nothing and I'm never going to be anything that's where the mind will go with it but this is my experience of when I'm trapped in something and I can't seem to move on and I'm stuck or I'm pushing to try and make something happen and it's all going to shit and I then go into that space of okay I surrender. Well, what happens for me in that moment, generally, is first of all, I feel a real sense of relief. Like, I can't fix this. Whatever this limitation is that's impacting me and having an effect on me, I can't fix it. I'm trying to fix it. I'm trying to change it. So by surrendering, I accept it. And in that, I find a certain relief. And then I'm open to new possibilities, which I wasn't open to before because I was blocked in my, I'm going to do it this way. I think it should be done this way. And hear my words, I think it should be done this way. So surrendering is very much going into the body, going into your body awareness and your body consciousness. I often say to myself, Lawrence, get in your body, get in your body. And I physically feel myself drop into my body and all my body sensations that can guide me as well. So surrender then becomes a space of relaxation. I just drop into my body. I look around my room. I see things I might not have seen before. I become grateful for things. And then in that space of openness, something new can come in to guide me or on that but whatever that particular limitation is that i've surrendered to nothing new might come in it might just be literally letting go of it and then that does open up space for something to come in which is maybe in a completely different area and to let your body let my body guide me and the way i do that is Rather than letting my mind say, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to go and buy this, blah, 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 you need to do I sit and I wait for my body to move. So if I have an idea, you know, I might need to go to the store and buy something, which is quite simple. And it could be something much more complicated uh, or much more impactful. But I don't act on it unless my body acts on it. I let my body be my guide. There's a massive intelligence in here in this body, which is separate from this. I mean, they work together as well. But as far as I'm concerned, this I'm pointing to my head because that's I think that's where my mind is. But uh, I don't let my mind make decisions. This is why I follow human design, the human design system. I'm a manifesting generator. I let my body make my decisions. So I watch, see how my body responds, the sounds that I make, 
the responses that I make to life. Any generator as a child, when offered ice cream, would probably have gone, mmm, mmm, mm, yummy, mmm. And then their parents would say, no, 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 you don't make those noises. You're not a monkey. You say, that's nice, or yes, please, mommy, and all that. We kind of get our, our body sensations, our body noises knocked out of us. So human design for me as a manifesting generator, part of the generator family, is about bringing that consciousness back into the body. So, so if I go, mmm, my body likes that. Mm, uh, uh, my body doesn't like it. Yeah, it might sound like a monkey, but it's a body intelligence that we tend to have forgotten. It's more, it's more I'm, 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 in, I'm in animalistic, animalistic in a way which is a good thing. So I've gone off track a little bit. So cheers from Take Me Out. Good luck to you, Paddy McGuinness, whatever you do. And uh, cheers, Whiskers. I've gone off track completely now. So I need to just drink my tea and say goodbye for now with my usual live long and prosper. Bye-bye, peeps.